Hello, Microsoft security community. Boyan here, program manager with Microsoft on the Microsoft Defender for Cloud customer experience engineering team. Delighted to be joining you today. And over the next couple of minutes, I want to show you how you can connect your GCP accounts to Microsoft Defender for Cloud using our new native support for GCP. The CSPM is completely agentless and that together with CWP capabilities can be set up for your GCP workloads in a matter of minutes. So let me show you in the portal how you can do it. I logged into the Azure portal and I went ahead and navigated to the Microsoft Defender for Cloud dashboard. Here, I want to select Environment Settings, where under the Add Environment, I want to connect my GCP accounts to Microsoft Defender for Cloud, hence I'm going to select Google Cloud Platform. I need to name my connector, so let me go ahead and do that. Then I need to select the subscription and the resource group in which this connector as a resource will reside. Okay, next up, I need the GCP project number and GCP project ID that I would like to connect. Let me show you where you can find this in GCP. I'm inside of the Google Cloud Platform console and inside of IM and admin, I've navigated to settings. Here, I can find both the project ID and the project number. So let me copy those across. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and select next. In this next step, I'm able to enable specific plans and capabilities. I can enable CSPM, which is called Cloud Security Posture Management, as well as advanced protection capabilities for servers and containers. Uh, by default, all of these are on uh, and enabled, and I'm going to leave it as is. I do want to give you a glimpse into the different configuration options which we provide here. So let's start with servers. If I select here configure, I can then enable auto provisioning of the Azure Arc agent as well as additional extensions. Now, when this video was taken, the additional agent for our connected machines configurations, which we can see here, including uh, the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint agent, the vulnerability assessment, and the log analytics agent, these configurations were inherited at the subscription level in which this connector as a resource will reside. With that being said, the team is working on it to provide you with granularity. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save here. And now for containers. For containers, I can select for the Kubernetes audit logs to be sent to Defender for Cloud, in addition to auto provisioning of the Defender extension for Azure Arc, as well as the Azure policy extension for Azure Arc. I do want to highlight in order to get and realize the full value out of Defender for Containers protection for GKE, both of these in addition to the Kubernetes audit logs, configuration should be enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Next, I can see a script which I need to copy across and execute in GCP's Cloud Shell. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to select this button here which is going to redirect me to Google Cloud Platform's Cloud Shell console. I'll go ahead and paste the script which we copied across and execute it. It might take up to a couple of minutes for this process to complete once the script has been successfully executed. And depending on what you enabled when we had the select plans uh, step, there might be this unique numeric ID that you need to copy across. And let me show you where you need to paste this. So I'll go back to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. And in step number three, I'm going to scroll down. And where you see service account unique numeric ID, this is where I need to paste the value which I copied earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And I'll go ahead and click Create. As I can see in the upper right corner, this is going to start with the provisioning and with the creation of the connector. And once this has been all done successfully, we can see our new native GCP connector.
to give you a sense of how this looks like, I'm going to switch to another environment which has even more GCP resources. When I go into the recommendations blade, so let me do that quickly through the environment filter where I'm going to select GCP. Once data starts flowing in, I can already see recommendations for my GCP resources. I can obviously do the same for the inventory blade as well, as well as the other parts of the product. So with that, that concludes our short demo on how to set up the new native GCP connector. And this concludes our video on how to connect your GCP accounts to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. I hope you got real value out of the video and I would like to encourage you to give it a try and let us know how you get on. Until next time.